So they are uh, cutting the electric off right up at the weatherhead right now so the electrician can come and do his work tomorrow morning. Uh, we found out that we get a free meter panel from the electric company, so I've got to go over today and pick that up. Save us a little bit of dollars on the electric installation. So uh, Chris is going to continue doing some pressure washing today. I've got a few other small chores in addition to my uh, normal work, and we will keep you posted on the progress. about ready to wrap up the daylight for day three uh, it gets dark much earlier now around six o'clock so it's uh, coming up on four we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to Friday night all you can eat fish fry at uh, Kelly's cafe here in Big Sandy and try that here in just a little bit but I've got an hour left so I'm gonna uh, go into the office here in just a second I'll show you the office uh, and tear out some of the insulation um, because the roof just got fixed over there so it's not going to leak anymore and uh, we can get rid of that moldy musty insulation and get that cleaned up so we can put the flooring from the house we're going to take the flooring out of the house put it in there i'm going to reuse it in my office and then of course we're going to get some new flooring down in the house but as you can see the uh got a new panel for the uh electric right there that was free from the electric company meter panel electric company came and disconnected things up at the pole up there And our electrician will be here at 7 a.m. tomorrow to complete that work. Complete that work. Our roofer was here today, as you know, and he uh, roofer came here and put a new piece of the transitional flashing along here, so it won't leak between the uh, the main roof of the shop and the office that we're going to walk into now. So in the office, kind of dark in here because our electric is off. We're running the generator on the RV, uh, but the electric is off until Monday when we get the uh, work done. For the service upgrade so you see here the uh this office when they did the roof they didn't put a flashing up there they just uh, caulked it so you had some leaks some really bad leaks over here in the corner um and then there was actually just open there was an open gap over here where you could actually see daylight at a wasana something there so i'm going to clean this up with the last hour that we've got today it's raining right now or starting to sprinkle it's supposed to rain so what i'm going to do is take all this insulation and put it over here in the corner uh, so that we can take it out and stay nice and dry so we can get rid of it without it being all nasty and rained on. I am not really sure what was in their mind when they were doing this. I mean, I already pointed out the fact that they just caulked the seam, which was the wrong way to, uh, to do the roof. It needed flashing up there, <clears throat> which caused it to leak. I'm sure it's always leaked. That might be why they stopped finishing it. Um, but it had about 80% of the insulation up there. Most of it was mice ridden, uh, had mice holes in it and stuff like that. Uh, and just based on everything that I've seen here, I thought it would be a good idea to actually open up the walls and get all the insulation out of there to see how the wiring was run, those types of things. So now most of the insulation, I'm gonna pull the rest of this insulation down. Um, then tomorrow, if it's not raining, I'll uh, take all this insulation out dispose of it so that we can clean up the floors and have a place in here to stack the flooring. So Chris actually went to Clarksville, which is about an hour and a half drive today to do a few errands and pick up some of our tools from our storage. So most of her day was uh, errands and bringing stuff in. Um, wanted to finish the pressure washer, but without, without electric, we have no water pump. Uh, so we're on a well, so we have no water. So that's all gonna have to hold off until Monday when we get the electric going back. So I'm um, not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow, but uh, stay tuned for a couple of minutes and you'll see what we did tomorrow. Johnny boy, put your hat back on. Now you're out there on your own. Day four. And electricians are here putting a new panel in out there and we're starting on the demolition. It's only 50 something degrees outside, about 25 degrees cooler than yesterday. So it's a good day for some inside work. And it's also just started raining a little bit, misting a little bit. So we'll be inside today.
starting to tear off everything off the walls. We took the, uh, what are they called? Shelves? Lines? The thing that was in the window. <laughs> the air conditioner. All three of those things we've taken down. Yeah. We took uh, blinds, all the blinds down, all of, any pictures that were left on the wall. There was a bunch of shelving units in this room. This is the back, it was a back bedroom, I guess, um, yes. at one point, but it, uh, it's gonna be, part of this will be the utility room. We have a fully mud bathroom, mud bathroom utility room. Utility yeah. So the washer and dryer will go in here. Um, uh, and then we're gonna actually take this window out yeah. Probably, are we going to move this window? So if it's kitchen. good, we're going to salvage yeah. this window. We're actually going to move that to the kitchen because the kitchen windows are shot wow. due to water dam damage. We're actually going to put a doorway right here, and this is going to go out. This is going to go out to a pool in our backyard. So you can see it goes out to the shop, our office and shop right out here. And we're going to also put an in-ground pool in probably next spring. So we'll be taking this w window out, putting a door in here, but right now we're just getting the inside completely gutted for the most part. So next step is to take all the trim off. We're gonna take these trim boards off down here at the bottom so that we can pull the flooring up. And most of the flooring in this, in this back add-on section, this room as well as the room next to it, most of it has some water damage or pet, pet damage, it stinks. Uh, but the, in the our bedroom or the old bedroom, which is gonna be our bedroom, and also the main area, that flooring is pretty decent in there, so we're gonna to try to salvage that flooring and put it into the office. So, uh, electrical work's going on here. I'll give you a sneak peek at that. So as I said, uh, it's a rainy day outside. It doesn't feel super cold, but it's supposed to be just, I think it's about 55, 57 maybe. I got the uh, fire going there, burning some stuff up with a light mist going on. Chris is in there tearing out that back room, all the trim, all the wall decorations, pretty much everything off the walls, and also getting started on the flooring. So she's just throwing these stuff out the, the window, and I'm putting it on the burn pile. We're going to switch places here in just a second. And uh, continue on working on that back room, working way out of that back room into the rest of the house, getting all the flooring and all the trim and everything off the walls. I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the bridge. The bridge, you asked if I'd save you. You are the one I can tell that you've been through 
Said, we're going to try to keep some of this flooring to put into the uh, back shop office back there. Uh, when pulling up the flooring, it, it, it depends on a, a few things on how easy it's going to come up. First of all, how long it's been down, how it was installed. Normally, it's installed over this nice little vapor barrier padding, a nice floating floor, um, not usually uh, fastened to the subfloor at all. But you will have to pull up all the trim, uh, all the trim that's around because it's pretty much um, just underneath that trim, not snug and tight to the wall. Uh, as you can see here, you can just start pulling it up like this. And depending on how long it's installed, you'll start seeing some of the seams. Now in this case, this floor has had a lot of water damage or pet damage. So a lot of it is just like almost fused together because of the swelling of the of the sub part because of the swelling of the boards and what you should be able to do is once you get it on a tilt you can start seeing the seam but the problem is these are so fused together that it's breaking it's breaking the little lip or the little ledge so even if you wanted to keep these, you've got a little bit of a challenge. So we've got uh, a pretty decent amount of ledge there. We might be able to reuse this if we wanted to, but uh, as you can see, you can even see the water damage on the bottom here. So um, you know, typically the way you would move the flooring after you get the trim off, you would just tilt it up a little bit and then snap it out one board by board come out a little bit easier than that one just did if it did not have uh, the water damage. You can see the underneath the seams here there's all kinds of uh, water damage to these. So we're not going to keep these boards from this room because they're they stink. So since we're not having to take our time here you can come up a little bit easier. sweep it up but uh, I'm thinking this floor is gonna have to come up and we're gonna replace most of the sub floor there's lots of water damage uh, you can see there's pretty much just water stains from edge to edge all the way around the floor here and this uh, this vent was rusted so I don't know how often it flooded um, but compa compared to the other part of this add-on section that had the roof that was uh, pretty flat. They didn't put enough fall on the roof, so we're going to build that up up there. The roof's going to be done in a, in a week or two before we start finishing anything off on the inside, of course. But this floor is warped from the, uh, the water damage. We will be replacing the subfloor, at least in this room. 
Um, this hot water heater is new. It's only less than a year old. Um, we're going to sell that. It's a gas hot water heater. It's a tank one. We're going to get a tankless hot water heater, either put it underneath or outside. Um, so that's pretty much what we had planned for the demo today was to start getting flooring out. We've got this room done. We're going to move on to the next room here after lunch. So we just, Chris just found this under the flooring. So it looks like the, uh, the father-in-law that built the house. You are the light of the world. Oh, that's right. That's the father-in-law of the son. What's this one say? All have what? All have come. Oh, all, all have sin, sin and, and come, come short of, of the glory. glory. Of God. Oh God. And this one said, You oh, are the light of the world. Here's my exceeding great tidings of joy um, I bring to you. I'll receive That's that. That's a good one. Oops. Houston, we have a problem. Oopsie. Well, we